Hello, welcome back, hope you're all well. Welcome back to part two of uh, the Westie project. Um, still struggling with the camera, so uh, forgive me if it's a bit out of focus or whatever, I can't do a lot about it. So I'm still sort of struggling with it just to just so you get to see a bit more of it really. I wasn't going to do it, do it without filming it, but uh, anyway, let's crack on. So hopefully tonight, if we've got time, I'm going to get these uh, mud guards off, wheel archers, vendors, whatever you want to call them. Um, get them off tonight, um, and with the torch. Um, so in this little bit here, it's normally where you have, I'm in the way. Um, you normally have your PTO pulley. Um, but we took that out a long time ago, so I wish I hadn't. But uh, what I'm going to do is hoover this out first. Probably don't look that bad on camera, so I don't know because I can't see the, the screen. Um, but uh, like I say, get that hoover out so I can get in there. No point working crap when you don't need to. And then uh, linkage is off the gear, the gear linkage is off, and find all the bolts and uh, unbolt it all you know how it is when you work on things a lot and you just forget yourself well I've just unbolted the plate, you can't, probably can't see it's too dark but I've just unbolted the plate where the pulleys used to come through on there and I've been reaching through there like a pillock <laughs> my arms only just fit in that hole and also I thought to myself, I'm sure there's a plate on this so I can get to it easier. There you go. <laughs> so it just lays in there like that. And I didn't give it a thought, even if it was just to get the hoover in there a bit better when I hoovered it. So, I don't suppose you can see anything in there, because it is dark in here at the moment. It's where it's going from getting dark outside, so me lights pick up a little bit yeah I've just moved the plate off of this bit here because I was reaching for here what a bloody idiot and I took that plate off I don't know why I think I was just getting carried away because really all I needed to do was two bolts at the back here and that would have given me that so I don't know why I did that in the first place move that plate but uh, as far as I can see I've got to disconnect the gear lever I'm going to do it down here because we've got the T handle on this one so rather than you know and it's all connect goes through here through the side panel there I don't know if you can see it I don't speak you can see it at all so I can't see what you're seeing anyway um, yeah so I think in the wheel arch I don't know if you like so again if you could have had to see it but there's two bolts on either side so I'll get this wheel off and Hopefully it's four bolts and we're off. Back on it tonight. So uh, I've unbolted it all. Uh, there was only four bolts at the front of it. Gone onto each sort of, uh, you know, <laughs> where your feet go. And there were two bolts at the back. So I needn't have took that plate off what was the one with the pulley on it. So I, I was looking at it and I don't even know. It's not connected to it, but I still unbolt it. And then I never, I forgot anything about that inspection plate which just lays on there. That's so you can put your belts on when you have your uh, sweeper behind or whatever. Because obviously it's had all lifting gear on it originally. We took off, what she'd left on, but there you go. Um, so what I'm going to try to do now is just lift it off. I've undone the gear linkage underneath, I'll show you that in a minute. That's only an R clip. And... The PTO um, clutch lever, that's all been disconnected a long time, but it's still on the casing, I bolted the casing. Right, I'm going to see if I can put you on the chair, and if you'll be able to see, so get the tripod out, so I can crack on a bit. Can you see? I don't know, because the tripod's not there. Well, the tripod's over there, I can't see the screen. Hopefully you can see, I have no idea. If not, you won't see this bit. I know the lights coming in the door, so. Uh, 
Right, so in theory, this should just lift off and we should have the chassis left there. I don't think there's anything else there. Feels like There we go. I'll show you underneath just in case you can see it. I don't know if you can see it or not. But uh, yeah. As far as I know, it's never been off. I've been against this. I climbed underneath to do these parts. This side, and then I, I saw I sat down on this greasy axle, and it's nice and clean now, so it's either on my ass or it's on my belly because I don't think it's on my shirt really. And uh, make sure I wash my belly and think before I go to bed. <laughs> At least when you wake up in the morning, it looks like you shit yourself. <laughs> oh dear. Right, I'll show you this. Let me go over here. I'll show you. I'll show you from the top. Right, so it's not the best light here, but without seeing the screen, it's a job to tell um, what's happening. So, um, the plate on here, what would have held the pulley for the um, PTO, I needn't have took that off because it literally was held on by this bolt here and this bolt here. I don't know if you can see them. These two at the back, and then there was a bolt in here, a bolt in here. Same on the other side. Um, that's all it was. Obviously, this is a wire. What would have been to the um, safety, uh, the safety switch on the seat. But um, I didn't actually disconnect it. The bloke who had it before us disconnected it and wired it. But obviously, we ripped all the wire and loom out and put our own in. What would we done again? Um, so it's getting there. The next job is to take this off. Disconnect all the steering, wire and luminic switches. I've got a couple of switches on here that we use. Um, and a push button and start. And, we've got, and obviously, we've got our own sort of homemade cutout switch, safety switch, whatever you want to call it. What do they call them? Tag? Oh, I can't remember what they call them now. I'll show you how to make them. A video. I have done a video of them before, I'm sure I have, but I'll always do another one. Um, the only tip I'll notice at this end of the chassis, they've welded it down here to uh, strengthen it for the tow bar, and it has stiffed it up, stiffened it up a lot more. So, but they put the you know, I don't understand why I didn't do it at the front end, but we'll weld that anyway. Um, yeah, like I said, once I get it all stripped down. We can start welding up the chassis and put some gussets in it, and then it'll be starting to rebuild everything and improve everything as we go, we'll make everything stronger and do all like the the sort of restoring stuff as well as uh, um, you know the strengthening and mud mud stuff. You can see what's going around the bottom of there. Hopefully, you can see anyway. Where it's going. I haven't cleaned all the crap off, I just <laughs> it's just worked its way in the middle. That's all I've took off it so far. I might be a couple of other bits elsewhere that um, I'll put down. And there's this. Uh, we'll have a little, little look. See, you see the difference in the colour. But, um, yeah. I don't think I need a strength from that. Oh, mind you, it's not well, fully welded this side, so just a bit of welding get a bit of strength in it there's a lot of weight on there bouncing around what does went on on it right um, what I'm thinking now is putting the back wheels back on it dropping the um, axles dropping it off the axle stands and then getting off the ramp bring it back here a bit sort of here somewhere so I'm getting right the way around it and then jacking it back up putting four axle stands underneath the chassis not under the axle or nothing like that and then everything's ready for um, taking that off and then taking both axles off and then it's more it's down to obviously I've got to take the pads off and stuff like that before I weld but it's more it's ready to turn upside down to um, to weld it up or start actually building something and doing something um, I don't know if I mentioned it but I couldn't undo them nuts, bolts, um, nuts and bolts um, last night, and I've run out of WD-40, and I used some 3-in-1 as well, it was really good. 
Um, but I've run out of that, so I used car cleaner. Yeah, I used car cleaner. Uh, I'm not saying it worked perfect, perfect, perfect. Bloody hell. It's getting late now. Um, but it definitely helped. I've done it before. In fact, sometimes it works better than WD-40, the car cleaner. It just needs to clean the thread. That's all it needs to do, isn't it? And then you undo it. Um, I'm not sure how far I'm going to get tonight because tomorrow's Friday, so I've got Heidi, Heidi's home tomorrow. So I can come down in the morning and Keith's here tomorrow afternoon. Hmm, Peter ain't got nothing heavy to lift, isn't it? But yeah, Keith's here in the afternoon, so I don't know how much more I'm going to get done. I mean, video, the part one has just gone up. I've gone on about uh, half an hour, about an hour ago. And um, that's had seven views at the moment. Woo! And I think Mick's commented, but I haven't had a chance to read on it, read it all. If you want to know what the comment is, you'll have to have a look. But <laughs> um, yeah, so part one's just gone up. What was that just dropped in it? Yeah. So, um, yeah, let's crack on. Right, I've got it back on its, well, on actual stands, I should say. All around, it's obviously a lot lower now. Now, it looks to, though it's higher this side, it is. I've uh, measured the actual stands and that one is a little bit taller than this one. I don't know why they're out of the same set, but um, it is a little bit taller, so I'm going to have to sort that out. But it doesn't matter for stripping it down. But, uh, yeah, so I've got the front wheels in the air now, off the ramps. I'll clear that up tonight. And yeah, I can't get my tea because she's moaning me and my tea's ready. And then back in the morning to take that off, I think. I think that'll be the job. And then start taking the axles off. But, um, yeah, we'll see in the morning. Uh, like I say, it's getting dark now. It's getting late. It must be getting on to 8 o'clock now. So, uh, all good stuff. So I'll see you in the morning. So as you can see, this is as far as I've got. It's been nice, so... Uh, I've been doing other stuff, but um, yeah, this is how far we've got. I'll give this a hoover in a minute, clear all the dirt up so we can have a proper look at it. I don't know how well you can really see because of the light, I don't think really you can very well, but you can see the rock around the bottom of it. You've got one tag missing, um, that needs work on it. I've got strength in it anyway, but. Um, Tank sits here and the battery sits here, so the strength from you have to go at the back of that somehow. Make a little framework in there. Sort the electrics out. Might see if I can use that fuse box this time as well. I don't know. Worth a look in it. As you can see, the chassis is nice and clean. The only problem we had before was this lug snapped off, and we sort of I've joined and banged a bit of weld on it just to get us going again and um, yeah but that's not going to matter because I want to do away with that and put the pedal over this side so I'm going to leave all the clutch on it for now just, so I'm, just run it from my head where it's all going um, in, in the next video I'm going to take the ax axles off the steering still will come off and the back, obviously back axle and front axle then I'm going to turn it over and it'll be time to start welding it up. And uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll do that repair while I'm at it. But um, yeah, it's the start of the build really. Once the uh, axles come off, these mats I'll take off from the other side because I've got little pegs and it's easier to do it from underneath. Yeah, we'll get it turned over. I'll get the axle off. Turn it over and get up a bit of height, get on the trestles, and that'll be uh, ready to go. Right, I hope you liked the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up, that'll help the video along. Um, you know, all the usual sort of stuff. So, uh, yeah, just remember it's okay not to be okay, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.